Um, my whole life I've been in love with myself. Maybe. I don't know if it was like real love, but it, it felt like it. It felt pretty close, but it didn't. I have. I was in love with my last boyfriend, or at least I thought I was. <laughs> In the moment, in the eight months that we were dating, I thought, this is the guy for me. And then as the eight months went on, I started to think he was just a sexual desire and more of a lust between the two. Even though I think he really did love me, I think for me, him being my first and like in every aspect, he was more of a lust. I love my girlfriend. Uh, she's probably like the only real thing that I feel has like past all the negative things, like all the negative thoughts that came into my mind. Um, she's like, you know, she's like the golden star, like, you, don't you know, crap. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Goals. Yeah, yeah nice. goals. I think that you should let love come to you. Um, I don't think there's a right or wrong way to do anything. I think that if it, if it happens, it happens, but I feel like forcing it or, or trying to, which is where I've went wrong before in the past, like you can't make somebody feel the way you feel, and you can't feel any type of way about it if they don't, so if it happens, that's great, but if it doesn't, then keep it free. I don't need to find someone right now at this time, but whatever, like, whatever happens, happens, destiny, love is, love just falls into place, I think. <clears throat> um, searching is like Tinder, swiping right, swiping left, to wait for someone to be like, oh yeah, I think you're cute too, and then that would be in a way manufacturing love in a fake way though, and then I think waiting for love, you're working on yourself, you're, um, finding out who you are before you love someone else. Uh, I think uh, love can be manipulated, it can, it can force it, um, but at that point I don't think it is like, like real love, true love, like how people say it. Um, I feel like real love just falls into place on its own, you can't, you can't force it, it just happens. Uh, fake. I think it's fake because I think there are too many coincidences in the world for not to be. And I think you meet everyone for a reason. To give you more experience. What have you done today to show love? I bought myself breakfast. That was really nice of me. That made me feel really good. Yeah. I smiled at someone. I was passing in the hall and he smiled back. That was fun. Um, yesterday actually. I gave... A homeless guy that asked me if he could have some of my hot Cheetos after I just bought them a good amount of hot Cheetos. I think I gave him half the bag. I think there's all kinds of different types of love and the sacrifices that one would make uh, depends on the type of love. There's a family type of love, there's a um, camaraderie type of love yeah. with your peers. There's um, relationship, like romance type of love. Well, absolutely. I think it means different things in different situations to different people. It's, love is a spectrum. You can love people, things, yourself. I think there is a lust, which obviously is a sexual desire. I think there's a puppy love that happens when you're super young or even with your first, depending on how old you are. I think there is a true love that like is your one and only, your ride or die, to the day, till death do you part, type of love. I think, I think everybody has a different lens when it comes to love that they see through. Um, and it all just depends, but I guess in the end when I think of love, I think of like a feeling that all of us have an idea about and we operate on kind of like an instinctual kind of emotion when it 
Absolutely. You're the one doing the voiceover in your own life, whether it's in your head or the way you perceive things. 